What's up guys? Pat from Pat's Construction. It's Sunday, January 10th. Um, it's not raining anymore. Because it was today. Um, yeah, it was pretty damn bad, the rain. Wild as hell. Rained, then it stopped and got blue sky and sunny. Then it rained some more. Then I got, then it stopped again, got blue, blue sky and sunny, and now it's just blue sky, but now there's, uh, clouds starting to come back, I mean, right there, there's, like, a weird wicked cloud through there, all the clouds are starting to, like, come back, um, and it was actually, like, 62 degrees today, due to the rain, it was, like, really freaking nice out, 62 now since it's like four o'clock it's kind of going back down and it's supposed to be it's supposed to drop back down to the 30s all this week so now i could already feel the temperature difference that it's actually kind of going down a little bit and it's not good a little chilly a little chilly but not that bad um so basically i'm going to be figuring since it's a nice day out now it's finally nice out. It's not frigid cold. I figured I might as well uh, do my backup alarm. Get my backup alarm uh, and uh, replaced on my truck. Because I have the same one already on my truck, except it broke. It uh, like died out or shorted out or something. I I don't know. And I'll explain more under there as to what I think but then again I don't really think it matters because of the fact that uh it was it grounded already to the backup light so I mean it could have been the fact that I didn't ground it ground this thing itself to the chassis I don't know probably is but oh well so um Yeah, so I figured I might as well just do this today now. Because it's finally a nice day out to get this done. Because I've been w wanting to do this now for so long. Because I need my backup alarm back on my truck. Because me personally, I think every truck, every pickup truck, box truck, dump truck, should have a backup alarm on it. UPS delivery truck which I think is a, that's box truck, but they should all have a backup alarm on them because they are this big ass freaking truck and people don't realize it and they're, they, they'll get hit because people don't pay attention, especially in parking lots, which is specifically why I got this backup alarm for my truck was for backing out of parking spots and parking lots because people really do, people really don't pay attention to parking lots at all. They just come right on out, walk right on by, they don't give a shit. They just come right out. And that's why I put this on here. So, this is actually kind of a, uh, like, uh, an insurance, like, buster or something. I don't know the words that I'm trying to find, I don't know. I don't know what they are exactly, but it basically like saves your ass in case you do like hit someone, which it actually wouldn't be your fault. That is if it's not your fault, <laughs> because if they just come on out right behind you and you're backing the hell up and you don't see it to the last very second and they end up getting hit, well technically it's not your fault. It's their fault because they should have been paying attention. They should have heard the audible alarm notifying them that, hey, this truck here is backing the hell out. Pay the fuck, pay attention and move the hell out of the way. Like, common sense here, people. You hear an audible backup alarm, move, 
move out of the way, pay attention. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, this is also good for uh, if you're plow, if you're a snowplow driver, or if you're just a plow, uh, snow plowing your own like personal business and shit, or for business purposes, where you do driveways and stuff, and then you and, and you're back drifting out of the driveway, or just backing up onto like a main road and this car is coming. Yeah, even though you have, it's required to have the amber lights on the, on the truck at all times. Um, and it's also, I saw a video, which I think is really, really awesome, that they have, uh, lights, amber, one amber light here and one amber light on the other side, connected with the backup along, with the backup lights, so it goes on when he's in backup, when he's backing up, so that way it's also, because the first thing that you see backing up is obviously the tailgate, you might not see the top light bar there, you may not see that, because it might be blocked by a tree or something, but you'll see the lights that are here for people that are coming down the road so I like that idea too I might do that and then you also have this if you get the audible backup alarm for your truck you're now audible and visible to anybody around you so there's no excuse as to why they didn't see you and couldn't hear you because you were both fully audible and visual. So that's just me. I think it, everyone should have this because it just makes things so much better because people don't pay attention. And I might actually seriously get those amber lights, one there and one on the other side. That's actually a really awesome idea, which I actually never thought of that, actually. It's a really good idea. Alright, anyway, I'm like, I'm just going on and on and on. And it's not the old backup alarm that I gotta replace. So pretty much my guess is as to why it broke is because I did not have this right here attached to the chassis itself because that is the that's the self grounding like plug for it but to me I didn't really think it needed it I mean I still don't think it needs it because it's already grounded because it's connected to the backup light so and it's protected from the elements it's protected from everything because they say to put it in like a good spot so I still don't know why it like stop working and I know it's not the wires or nothing because I took the the voltage tester to it check the voltage going through it it's got power going through it and it's got power going to the terminals going to the terminals here if you guys can see it but it's got power going to the terminals but no sound is coming out from the speaker so I know there's power going into the terminals there but nothing coming out inside and I still thought that was a wind for a second it was a car and also probably the wind now I'm gonna try and do this I'm kinda lazy to get my light cause it's all the way on the other side of the garage and there's no easy way to get that I should have did this while it was still nice out. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go get my other light and stick it under here. Alright, I'll be right back. What's up, guys? I'm back. Got the light, as you could tell. It's super duper bright. My awesome LED work light. Love that light. Thinking about getting another one. It's only 40 bucks. Literally. 40 bucks. That's it. Thinking about getting another one. Um, and, and, um, yeah, so, that's basically what I'm going to do with that. Anyway, back to this, as uh, you can probably see things, like, probably a lot better. Yeah, a lot better now. 
I mean, I don't know facing me this way if that's like blinding you guys. I'm not entirely sure because I can't see it. Um, if it is, I do apologize. I was gonna put it on this side, but I just put it here. I mean, uh, it's still dark there, so I'll, I'll move it because it, it's still dark. wire mm, there go the geese again there go those pesky pesky geese again wow look at that I think that's like so much brighter now well I think it's just better because now I can see over this side I mean yes that's also probably still but all right I figured it out, I got it good. Hooked up to the, strapped onto the exhaust pipe, so, hey, it works. So now you guys can see me. First things first. Oh, I'm gonna have to take this off too because I have this wire going through through that stupid thing and I can't cut this because this is the plastic that's well I could I mean it's thick ass plastic though I mean I can cut through it but it's pretty thick I could just I could break it <sighs> Just so I don't have to disconnect this. Just so I don't have to disconnect this. Oh yeah, that was pretty damn easy. That was easy. But I still have to cut this, this metal. Still gotta cut the metal. Yeah, that was pretty damn easy. I still gotta cut the metal though. I should have just got my regular cutters too to help me with this. Mm -hmm. Should have got my regular cutters instead of trying to stick my damn lineman in here. There we go. That's cut. I don't have to disconnect the positive, the positive wires. And the reason that the positive wires are actually uh, like this, and why I have a second wire coming off of this and going opposite ways, the yellow wire, this yellow wire is the wire that is, um, coming it uh, the yellow wire is the wire that's coming from the light from the backup light itself 
and then the red uh, fire alarm wire is coming off of that breaking the positive uh, from that because then it goes up to the cab um, and it, I, I have a switch connected to it so when it's late at night even though it'll be switched so late at night I turn it off uh, when I'm backing in and then obviously I turn it back on when I'm done backing up so that way it's already on for the next day or whatnot or whatever so yeah so that's what these two wires are for and I didn't really want to break this connection because I don't want to have to redo it so now that I have don't have to it's fine um but yeah this is connected to a switch that goes into the cab and my switch box for uh to shut this off at light at light at night like late like 11 o'clock is when I'll shut it off but anytime before 11 it's on that way in the middle of the night get a fire call and whatnot and I come back and whatnot I can shut it off I've actually I've had this switch for a while and never got to it
gosh, it's kind of push the wires back a little bit. Push the wires up a little bit. You know, that way they're kind of like up in there. And then there you go. And that's good. And then now that always test it out. So I'm going to leave you here. And I'm going to go test it out right now. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, there you go, see? Well, it works perfectly. It works perfectly. It's all good and dandy. It's perfect. It's completely perfect. And now, as I was just quickly like saying that I gotta make sure when I get a trailer so I get one that matches this so I gotta just make sure I get one that matches that alright well that's it um yes peace out guys uh catch you whenever catch you tomorrow or something probably alright see you guys